Hey guys, so I went to my sister's yesterday after a couple weeks of not being there and finally got to pick up all of my mail and I wanted to share my little dog box for this month. So, oops. <clears throat> I get a treat and chew box and a super chew every month. Uh, so this month the super chew is a pigfoot. I do have that one restricted for Sheila. Uh, we can't quite find the right balance for how much she should eat at a time. Um, she did okay with it at first and now it just kind of gives her like weird poops so uh we're just avoiding it for now um so i got a rolled cow skin which is used to be her favorite unfortunately she kind of stopped eating them so we'll see if she'll go for this one she is standing here staring at me like why are you in my box why are you not giving it to me okay so first we've got our organ meat of the month and this month it's beef liver I don't know if you can see any of this. Sorry. Terrible lighting. Uh, so we've got grass-fed beef liver. I use this for training treats. Um, I also add it to her meals. Right now she's doing sojos. Since we're in the car, we can't really do raw food. So we're doing sojos, dehydrated, and I like to add these things in to kind of spice it up, add some more fresh food to our diet. So our muscle meat this month is the pork heart. Whole bunch in there. I really like the pork heart. It's a good muscle meat. Uh, it's easy to break up. I use it for training treats again. I also use it in her meals. Um, she does really well with pork, so always stoked that I'm gonna start buying bulk bags of the pork heart to really bulk up her meals. She does have a hard time holding weight, especially when we're out here and she's just like non-stop all day. She's moving, exercising, running, doing that. Um, so she loses weight easily and we want to kind of keep a nice little layer of fat on her. She's really muscular. Um, the vet did compliment her beefy thighs and how strong they are, but I would like to have just a little bit more, uh, a little thin layer of fat on her. She doesn't really have a lot. So uh, adding more calories to her food is kind of what I'm aiming for. Uh, our seafood this month is anchovies. Look, look how good those guys look. They're whole anchovies. I don't like seafood, I think it's gross, but I do have to say these are some beautiful little fish. Alright, and then our light chew this month is duck feet. Sheila loves these. To be fair, she really does love everything, um, except for the rolled cow skin now apparently. Um, but she especially likes feet, I like those, they're just kind of a quick easy chew, good way to spice up her meals. Um, okay, our medium chew is the pig skin. These are nice. I really like the pig skin. These are really good if your dog tends to try to like swallow things whole or gulp. She does not a gulper. She is a really heavy chewer though. So uh, the long thin things she can usually like caca, caca, like break it up really quick and and then swallow chunks of it. She doesn't really savor her chews unfortunately, which is why I use a ton of chew holders and vice grips and things like that. But the pig skins are really good because of the shape, it's harder for her to do that. Uh, these are also really cool if you want to make like an enrichment type meal. Um, when I'm in an apartment and I have access to a freezer, I would add a layer of like Greek yogurt or kefir or something. Uh, maybe add an anchovy, some organ meat, whatever, and then freeze it. And then she can like lick all that off and then chew up the pig skin. It's more exciting for her than just like, here's a bowl of food. So I really like the pig skin. And then our heavy chew this month is the bison backstrap. I really like all of the backstrap chews. Again, these are like long ones, so she can pretty easy crunch those up and swallow them. Um, but again, I use a lot of chew holders. The backstrap works really well in the West Paw Quizzle. Um, and I can link to that down below. That's one that I really like. I like to stick the backstrap kind of through the middle slot and then I clamp a vice grip on the other end so she can't just like slide it right out. Uh, and then she has to like kind of work around the chew holder a little bit. So that makes these last. Uh, I also bought a couple things from the secret shop. And I picked up those as well. So we've got beef Achilles tendon. I haven't had these yet. Uh, I'm excited to try them. If you can see they're, you know, fairly short compared to like the back strap, but they're thick. Um, our regular beef tendon shoes I really like, but 
uh, haven't been able to get them. So I thought these would be fun to try. I know she'll like them. She likes literally everything, but uh, I'm excited to see how they work in like our chew holders. And then I also got the beef backstrap bits from the secret shop. Um, again, I use these in shoe holders a lot, and so these ones are all the pieces that weren't big enough to go in the regular monthly boxes. So they are bagged up and then kind of sold in bulk. So you get these like longer, thin ones. Um, they're a good snack. She really enjoys them. Uh, and she is getting a little bit better at kind of taking her time when she has a chew holder and she can't just like inhale it. Um, she does chew them pretty thoroughly, and those ones are really great for like keeping her teeth clean, those back molars, she'll kind of crunch on them and really get to them, so really excited about her box this month. I'm glad I finally picked it up. It's been over there for a couple weeks, I think, at this point, and my inventory was definitely running low. I still have a bin full of various like chews and things, but as far as the stuff that I like to use in her meals and for training, we were getting pretty low on, so... I'm glad I'm restocked. I've got my organ and muscles for training treats. I got some seafood for her. We did run out of seafood, so it was, I add seafood to her food almost every single day if I can. Uh, so it'd been a few days, so I'm glad I got that. And our chews are restocked, so I do like to have a variety of chews instead of just, you know, the same thing every day. And we were to the point where I had very little variety, so glad we're restocked. Um, if you have any questions on any of these, um, I do work for Real Dog Box. I have just closed that down below as well, but um, I do work for Real Dog Box. I love the company and I love the products. I pretty much exclusively feed these to Sheila as far as her treats and shoes go. Occasionally, I might grab something else if I'm in um, like a store buying food or something. Yesterday, I bought her a freeze-dried chicken, freeze chicken neck at my local wagon wash when I was picking up food because she did so good. She was in the store with me and she was being very brave and I let her pick out a treat. But generally, these are strictly what I feed her as far as treats and chews go. They're a great way to add fresh food into your dog's diet, if, especially if you're feeding kibble. Um, it's always good to add fresh whenever you can, so some is better than none. I definitely encourage adding some fresh food to your dog's diet. Uh, I have a little bit more info down below about some of the products. Again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'm happy to respond to you. If you're interested in trying a box, you can use my link down below. And if you sign up through that link, you do get an extra free bag of treats in your first box. So um, again, yeah, let me know if you have any questions um, about the box itself, about the products, about adding food to your dog's diet. And I will check the comments and happy to help you out. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.